Hello, I want to give you an idea what we are going to look at during my uh, packet class Wireshark training. So one of the things we will be covering are Wireshark uh, Lua dissectors. So here you have a dissector that is something that we will uh, develop incrementally during uh, the training, but I want to give you an idea here. So I developed a very small protocol to uh, have something to analyze and uh, this is a protocol which has uh, three bytes so each packet has uh, three bytes at least and uh, the first byte is a version number the version number is always one second byte is the type which can be zero or one zero is a request and one is a response and then the third byte that is a command which can be one two three or four that's a ping date command, reverse command, or a download command. And then, depending on the type and the command, there can be some uh, extra bytes. The ping command doesn't have any remaining bytes, but date uh, command, the response has, the request node, and the reverse and download, they both uh, do. So let's uh, have a look at a capture of such uh, a protocol exchange uh, like this here. So here we have uh, one TCP connection. You can see the SIN, SINAC, AC, and here the termination, uh, the FINAC, AC, FINAC, AC. And here we have our uh, botnet protocol that is exchanging data. So you can here see the three bytes in this packet, so that's 101, so that is version 1 um, request, and it is a ping command. Second has also three data bytes, version 1, it's a response and it's a ping. So that's a response to the ping command. Next command here version 1, it's a request, number 2, that's a date command, and here we have 112, so that's a response to the date, and here we have the date, you can see data, and so on, so we have several commands, but as you can see, this is uh, not uh, user friendly at all to uh, analyze this protocol. So, to make this easier to understand, uh, we are going to develop a Lua uh, dissector that will dissect this protocol and display the protocol uh, fields and uh, values in a much more user-friendly way. This is this dissector here that uh, we will incrementally develop. So, here we have already a working uh, Dissector, let me show you. So in the protocols, here. Okay, here we have protocol botnet 01, so let's enable this. Okay, and now you can see that these packets here have been recognized as uh, belonging to botnet 01 protocol. And here in the info field, you can, you can see that we have request ping, response ping, request date, response date, request reverse, response reverse, request download, response download. So that's already more uh, user friendly. It's more uh, easier to uh, do this uh, analysis. If we go to the first one here and expand the botnet 01 protocol like this. Okay, so here you can see that we have version 1, this byte here, then the message, these two bytes, first byte of the message 0, so that's a request, and one, a ping. And we have this 
for all the packets that belong to this protocol. You can see here the date. That's today. Here. The data that we sent to be reversed. The hex characters, 16 bytes. The response of the reverse, 16 bytes. And here you can see 16 hexadecimal digits in reverse order. A download request. The URL is 29 characters. Here is the URL. And a response to the download result one. Okay. So this a dissector allows us to uh, visualize this data, to analyze this data much more easily. Now, let's just show some simple changes that uh, we can do to this protocol. Here we have uh, result one, and uh, there is no explanation so next to it. So result one means success, and a result zero means uh, failure. So let's uh, change our dissector so that it includes uh, this data. So let's go here. So we are dealing with a download uh, command. That's uh, command number four. This is part of the dissector disk code here that deals with uh, command number four. And then we have the request here and the code for the response. So this is the code that interests us. You can see here we request the result. We convert it from the uh, data in the packet. It's uh, at the fourth byte, just one byte. There you have the result, and you see that we print that result as a digit. So next to this, we want to have also the result represented as a string. So let's do that, a string. And we will define a table to convert uh, the number into a string that is more meaningful, like these two tables we have here for uh, the type and the command. Let's add a table for the result. So t result, that's our table. If it says is zero, it's a fail, and if it is one, it's a success. And now, here, when we pass on this string, we can say, in the table result, I want the value for the index result. So let's save that and uh, try that out. Let's close Wireshark and load it again so that this new dissector, the modified dissector, get loaded. Okay. We can apply a filter here. Dot net zero one, so that we only have our packets. And here, response download. So let's expand. And you can see now that we have not only a one it is a result, but it is also uh, explained and uh, translated as a success. Now, so we know here that the, sorry, the f first download request here has to download this URL and that the botnet, botnet client replies that it's successfully downloaded. It would be useful to have this information here in, uh, in the info field. And that's also a small change to be made to the protocol dissector. Let's look here, here. We are looking at uh, the P info object with, uh, which represents the columns like the info column, and we assign the info column a value, a string value of the type, a space, 
and a command. So that is what we see in the info field. What we now want is that um, when there is a request here that is a download, here we have the URL, we also want to see the URL in the info field. So we will add this. And let me copy this line from here, put it here in the code for a download request. And what I'm going to do, let's get rid of this, I'm going to work simply Okay, so I have the info field Okay, sorry about that, so I have the info field and I'm going to apply the append method, so I'm going to append to the string I'm going to append a space character and then concatenated that space character, the URL, like this. So with this line here, I'm just appending the URL to the info field. So let's save this and have a look. Sorry, let me first close Wireshark, OK, load this again. Okay, botnet 01. No, we don't see it here. So let me check if I save this correctly. Okay. Ah, yeah, you can see I've made an error here. String URL, that's not. Uh, the correct value so when you are working uh, with Lua and you use variables that don't exist you don't get uh, a syntax error or something like that uh, but you get here in the interpreter an error that it cannot find the value you see nil value nil uh, each variable that doesn't exist is actually uh, a nil value when you evaluate it so I made a mistake it is not string URL it is SURL so let's fix this. Close Wireshark and open it again. No, we still don't get what we want. SURL is also a nil value. So why is that? It's in uppercase, sorry. S-U-R-L, like this. So, third try. That's an example of uh, incremental development. Okay. And now you can see that we have a request download with the URL. So let's filter on botnet 01. Okay, like this. So we can clearly see what the request is. But now we are missing here the response download. So let's that include result for the response of a download command. Let me close Wireshark. Okay, so this is the request command. And here you have the response command. So we just need to do the same thing here. But instead of the URL, I want to see the response. Okay, so this is a variable that doesn't exist. Let me define it. Local response, and a response is actually the lookup we do in the table. So that's something I did here. Let me cut this, put it here. That's what uh, we did before in the first modification, and here as result. So I'm just using a variable so that I don't have to do this lookup twice, and uh, for some ex uh, other reasons I will show you here. So the response here I have, 
and sorry it's not a response it's a result I save this here as a result and here too a result okay so this is the string value of 0 or 1 the result a fail or a success now one last thing I also have a function that converts a nil into a question mark and I'm going to use this here so this is the function nil to question mark that I'm going to apply on the result of the table lookup why am I doing this well if I'm looking up a value that is not 0 or 1 for example with 2 it shouldn't appear but it can always uh, show up in our capture so if the result is a 2 I don't know what that represents so and t result will be nil and you know if we have a nil then we have an error here and here now to avoid this error I'm going to convert the nil into a question mark that's what this function does this function tests if this value is nil and then it returns question mark if it is not nil it just returns the value itself okay and then it is used here in uh, the protocol tree and in the info field okay so let's come back here and open this with Wireshark filter on botnet okay and now you can see here that we have a request and a response now another way to view this information without a dissector but uh, still have so a better idea is to look what's uh, happening in the stream so do a follow stream and then let me move this okay and then you have this representation where you can see the traffic of data going uh, from uh, the client to the bot and uh, back let me show this as a hex dump here then you can see more easily the different messages okay but still here with all those hex fields that doesn't tell you a lot while having this view here has a dissector let me come back to bonnet zero apply it okay then here in the info field we have a better idea what's going on and if you want the details you look into the protocol data okay so uh, I hope that gives you an idea what uh, we are going to do in uh, the second day of my Wireshark uh, training course where we will look at different uh, protocols that uh, we are going to uh, dissect with dissectors we are going to develop in Lua for Wireshark